figured while I got this set up and the bag out, I'd do another video on the um, Texas Custom Sam Houston Edition 6 hour 1911-45. Um, I did the last video like the day I got it and it was kind of janky. I was holding it with one hand and whatnot, so I figured I'd kind of show it off again. Um, it's got the, uh, of course the lighting isn't great, it's going to be another garbage video, but uh, it's got the state of Texas on there, it's got the stamp on the top, which is kind of nice, and the engraving's really nice, it's got the, uh, the Lone Star State on one side, and then it's got the Sam Houston quote on the other, um, so it's just a really, really nice looking gun. The quotes, Texas has yet to learn submission from any oppression, and then dash Sam Houston, um, really nice gun. Brought it to, and then it's got a couple of nice things, like it's got the, the Texas Star, a really nice wooden hand grip. Um, all in all, fantastic gun, like most 1911s, it's extremely accurate. I took it to the range, and uh, the other day, put, put the target back at about 15 and a half meters, the maximum for the indoor range at Athena, and uh, I was drilling the target probably six out of eight shots in the magazine, at maximum distance so for a pistol it's insanely accurate it's really smooth um, all in all just a really nice pistol and uh, I'm really happy with it so i um, got a nice gun I'll probably use this one for home defense it's got a little more power and it's, it's way too big way too heavy and, and frankly way too nice and expensive for me to use as a concealed carry it's just not realistic so uh, I'll, for now, I'll probably carry the, the Glock 19 and uh, load this up with a couple of hollow points by the bed. So, anyways, uh, that's the arsenal. It's uh, growing by the month.